now we will take real life examples of currency devaluation and currency depreciation firstly real life example of currency devaluation argentina was facing a very severe economic crisis between argentina was facing severe economic crisis between 1998 to 2002 there was high inflation economic performance of the country was not good and argentina was also following the fixed exchange rate system between their currency peso peso and us dollar fixed exchange rate system was falling but in 2012 the argentina government devalued its currency and it abandoned the policy of fixed exchange rate of peso versus us dollar and it's it devalued its the value of its currency peso by about 70 percent that is the people or the residents of argentina will have to pay more of their domestic currency to buy one us dollar it was having very positive and negative impacts now there were some short term benefits of this devaluation when the currency devalued the exports became cheaper for the foreigners so it helped the exports in increasing exports from argentina domestic tourism thrived because the residents of argentina were not now not in a position to afford out bound tourism they were not in a position to make frequent traveling abroad because the foreign tourism had now become more costlier because the value of their currency has devalued now the currency devaluation also had some long term challenges when the value of the currency has devalued that is the value of peso the currency of argentina had de uh, devalued the value of the currency had decreased by the government order it reduced the purchasing power of the argentina people when the purchasing power decreased it resulted into high inflation there was social unrest there were protests in the country the debt burden of the country had also increased because the value of peso has decreased so if the argentina government had taken the loan in foreign currencies they will have to shell out more in their domestic currency to purchase the foreign currencies and to repay that debt so the uh, the currency devaluation is a double edged sword one side it has some short term benefits on the other hand it also poses certain negative impacts so any government should use currency devaluation with proper calculation and proper management now we will understand the example of currency depreciation real life example you have might heard about the brexit vote 2016 uk was a part of european union before this year the uk government decided to have a referendum in 2016 to decide whether it should remain the part of european union or should leave out of that european union the result of that brexit vote was that 52 percent of the people of the voters decided or voted that they should leave european union 
about 48 percent of the people or the voters decided that they should remain in the European Union. That is by a thin majority. The UK voters decided to leave the European Union. This is the Brexit vote. Due to this decision of the UK people that they should not remain in the European Union, they should not remain in the European Union, they should leave the European Union, the value of the British pound decreased. There was a very enormous single day fall when the result of Brexit vote was out and the value of British pound depreciated lot in the coming months also. Due to reduction in the value of domestic currency of UK, it make the imported goods more costlier for the British people. Why the currency depreciated? Because the investors or the general public abroad or the investors were worried about the economic position of the UK after leaving the European Union. What will be the economic position of UK in future when it will not remain the part of the uh, European Union? Whether it will be in a position to manage the international trade effectively, whether the economic performance of UK will be proper, what will be its economic relationship with the rest of the world and particularly the European Union. So when the Europe, UK decided to remain out of European Union, the value of its currency depreciated and it the process of depreciation of the currency of British pound continued for many months and it increased the import value or it makes the import of goods costlier for the UK people. There were also some industries in UK which were heavily dependent on the imported raw material. So it also increased the expenses or the production costs of those industries and reduced their profitability. So you have learnt from these examples that the currency devaluation and currency, depre uh, currency depreciation has their own impacts on consumers or the businesses as a whole. Now the topic before us is currency gains appreciation versus revaluation. Now first is what is currency appreciation? Currency appreciation is the increase in the value of a currency relative to other currencies driven by market forces. Market forces means the demand and supply of the currency or other market conditions decide the value of the currency and the, if there is increase in the value of the currency due to market forces it is currency appreciation but if there is a government order or the central bank order and by that order the value of the currency increases it is currency revaluation it is the official increase in the value of the currency cause currency appreciation is due to the increased demand for the currency. If the foreign investors make demand for the currency of a country, it results into the increase in the value of the currency. It is currency appreciation. If the economic outlook of the country increases, the investors may decide to make investment in that country. Then the demand for that currency will increase and it will result into the increase in the value of the currency. On the other hand, the government may decide to strengthen its currency. So, it is the policy decision of the government which is behind the revaluation. In the case of revaluation, market forces do not come into play. Next is speed. In the case of 
currency appreciation the speed of increase in the value of the currency may be slow or rapid depending on the market conditions that is due to demand and supply or the economic outlook of the country the appreciation in the value of the currency may be slow or rapid but in the case of revaluation of currency it is a one time event the government may decide that it is increasing the value of its currency by say 10% it is a one time event the government has decided today and it will have immediate impact on the exchange rate as has been decided by the government or the central bank of the country next is transparency in the case of currency appreciation market forces determine the exchange rate that is demand and supply determine mostly the exchange rate so it is generally transparent but in the case of revaluation of currency the government or the central bank of the country publicly makes announcement about the exchange rate next is exchange rate system currency appreciation occurs in floating exchange rate system and revaluation generally occurs in countries with fixed exchange rate system that is in those countries where the government is taking steps to maintain the fixed exchange rate between the currencies between their domestic currency and the other currencies then in those countries currency revaluation generally occurs we have we are will be separately uploading the courses on the floating exchange rate fixed exchange rate system in detail you can also view the same next is control in the case of currency appreciation it is not directly controlled by government or the central bank of the country because the market forces of demand and supply mostly decide the increase in the currency appreciation how much increase should be there it is decided by the market forces of demand and supply but in the case of revaluation the revaluation is controlled and implemented by government or central bank that is the central bank or the government makes announcement that this will be the revaluation of the currency so it is controlled and implemented by the government and central bank thanks for watching if you like our course please spare some time to give a star rating to our course